Hey, it's Mike. And today I want to talk about Workhorse because it's continuing its slow and steady recovery from the big drop that it had um, in October, where it really went from really starting late September, where it really went from a high of 30 down to 19. I mean, 30 down to 15, and it's now risen up to 19. As you see in the fa past five days, it's really fought its way upward. It was up a little bit yesterday, about 1%. And I think that the trend is going to be higher. And what I really want to talk about in the video today is kind of the three reasons why I believe Workhorse Group is going to be a great company moving forward for the long term. Uh, Workhorse Group is basically a maker of EV commercial vehicles, specializing in what you would call last mile delivery. So they're, they're like the trucks that deliver Amazon packages or that will deliver your mail from the post office. So really the three things that Workhorse has going for it is the fact that it is an EV company and younger people are more concerned about the environment and they're going to sort of demand from their government and from their companies that they use EV vehicles and they move away from internal combustion engine vehicles. So that's the one thing. The second thing that Workhorse Groups has going for is that when you have a company with a lot of trucks, um, you don't want those trucks to break down and you don't want to deal with a lot of maintenance. And electric vehicles, as you know, have fewer uh, moving parts. You don't have like your fan belts and your spark plugs. Literally, the average internal combustion car has like thousands of parts, everything from gaskets, um, you know, to your, to, to your, your, um, um, your oils. There's like four or five different oils in vehicles. Like all of that stuff just could go wrong. The great thing about when you have an EV vehicle, it's like they're just much less moving parts. So when you have a few, uh, a big fleet, that's just less maintenance. And then finally, there's just more of a trend of people who want contactless delivery or e-commerce delivery of products, even uh, not just stuff that you buy from Amazon, but even grocery shopping. I think in the future, like young people today will never go to the grocery store. They're just going to be used to ordering groceries online. And because of that, a company like Workhorse is going to benefit because Workhorse is going to be the provider of the vehicles that will um, handle grocery delivery. So there's a lot going for Workhorse. I know, um, you know, the past six months, or actually the past month has been a little scary with this fall, but if you look back over the past six months, you know, the trend is definitely higher. It's, got, it's going to take some time for Workhorse to work out of this damage that it got itself into. But if you look right now, it's I like the fact that it's trending higher um, at, at a measured pace. I think that's going to give it a lot of opportunity for more people to get into Workhorse and not be worried too much about the volatility. But, you know, five five to ten years from now, I think Workhorse, which is now a $2.3 billion company, could easily be worth $20 billion. It's just you're going to have everyone's fleet switch over from internal combustion engine vehicles to EV vehicles, and obviously a company like Workhorse is going to benefit. So definitely take a look at Workhorse if you're looking for another play in the EV space. So that's my update on Workhorse. If you want to get more updates on EV stock, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I do uh, multiple daily updates on stocks, the options, and other uh, great investing strategies. Okay. Thanks. Bye.